So much continues to be said about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, about his role as Manchester United manager. Should he be sacked or not? Ole in or Ole out is, well, it's the flavour of the week, that's for sure. Uh, and tonight, Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher were both on Monday Night Football. What I'm going to do in this video is react to what they both said. Because I think it would be unfair of me to try and look at what Gary Neville had to say and then not at least listen to what Jamie Carragher has to say. So what I'm going to do, as I said in this video, is run through what both of them had to say. Let's talk about it. Right, I'm going to start with what Gary Neville had to say. Let's go over here. And this is what Gary said when he was speaking about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He should be under massive pressure with the squad that's been assembled and the fact he's been in the job now two and a half, nearly three years. I mean, that point there, yeah, straight away. The, 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 the pressures on Solskjaer this season are completely different to what they were before. That's why things are different. That's why it's massively different. That immediately, yeah. 100%. 100%. But the club are not going to change him. And the club are going to stick with him to the end of the season. My view would be, is not. I agree with Jamie, it's not the right time to discuss it now. I've got Manchester United fans on my social media timeline all the time saying, Gary, he's your mate, you won't call him out. No, I won't. No, I won't. I won't call Steve Keane out or Arsene Wenger at Arsenal. I'm not going to come on this show 11 years later and ask for a manager to be sacked. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. He's a club legend. He's my teammate. I actually like him a lot. And Manchester United have failed with two previous managers who've been world class. I think they persist to the end of the season. I disagree with Jamie on the fact that if he does win the Europa League in the FA Cup and they finish in the top four, I would say that's still building a successful team. Right, there's a couple of points to discuss there. First of all, do you think that if United win the Europa League and the FA Cup, is that a successful season for us or is it Premier League and Champions League or nothing? Now, the concept there, of, I, I don't, I can't say as, with as much confidence as Gary Neville right there that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer won't be sacked before the end of the season. I don't think he's, we're seeing stories coming out this week. We've got Andy Mitten from The Athletic. We've got David Ornstein from The Athletic. We've got Fabrizio Romano. We've got some really, Laurie Whitwell as well, Adam Crafton. The most trustworthy journalists have all been saying the same thing post Leicester. The Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has 100% backing of the club. But for me personally, I don't think that is the case. I don't think that Solskjaer can possibly still have 100% backing of the club. Because we've seen continued progression of mistakes and people coming here on the channel. Like the video I did earlier today, man. I'm not saying that I'm 100% in support of Solskjaer as manager now. But I will be 100% in support of Solskjaer being treat, treated with the respect that he deserves and the respect that he has earned. Because we are in a different position now. Three years on because of the job that he has done. Not because of the job that Van Howe has done or the job that Mourinho has done. Let's carry on and see what else Gary Neville has to say here. You go up against three of the best teams in the world in Chelsea, City and, uh, and Liverpool, by the way, with three of the best managers. So Manchester United changing the manager now doesn't prove anything to me in terms of what could happen. I still think they could struggle against those three teams. But the pressure is building, Dave. The 100% is building. It should do. Cavani, Greenwood, Rashford, Martial, Van der Beek, Pogba, Fernandes. What a collection of players. Sa Look, I, I think with, with Gary Neville, for a lot of you, um, in terms of him preaching about not sacking a manager, you're just going to whip out the fact that Salford City have sacked plenty of managers in the last few years and that sort of undermines Gary's point of view. But it's clear that Gary has, yeah, an affinity with Solskjaer and maybe that's skewing his opinion. Maybe that would be a fair thing to say about me as well because, you know, Solskjaer genuinely, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, he is my favourite Manchester United player and I want nothing more than to see him be successful. But Solskjaer, look, we're talking about Solskjaer coming up against um, the top managers there. We've got Tuchel, we've got um, Klopp, we've got Cardio Guardiola. I'm going to save my point I'm going to make about those when I look at what Jamie Carragher has to say. But what do you think about what Gary said there? Do you think that there is absolutely no chance now that Solskjaer is sat between now and the end of the season? Or do you think that sort of safety net is completely gone? Because, you know, only a few weeks ago, as I said, after 4-1 against Newcastle, there was such a high around the club, man. Ronaldo was back. He scored two on his return. Looked absolutely impeccable. United, you know, well, when we conceded the equaliser, we came out storming. And we went from one all to 4-1 very, very quickly. But the wheels haven't just come off in the last few weeks. They've come off, been stolen and transported over on a ship to Japan. They're gone. Vamos. United are, yeah, we're, we're, we're stuck at sea at the moment. And Solskjaer is at the helm of it. He's the captain. And speaking about Solskjaer, as I said, it will be unfair of me to look at Monday Night Football and just focus on what Gary had to say. 
This is what Jamie Carragher had to say. And I know for a lot of you, this is a this is an opinion that I know plenty of you will share, or plenty of you do share. With Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done a really good job as Manchester United manager. And I'm not saying that trying to be clever from a Liverpool point of view. I'm, and I'm, I'm happy that uh, Jamie is saying that because it's something that I said earlier as well. It, yeah, this disrespect towards Solskjaer and trying to say that because of what's going on now, it takes away from the good work he's done is bullshit. That, that's wrong. It's completely wrong, people. What I mean by that is this could have gone horribly wrong for Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has come in with experience from Scandinavia, a year at Cardiff. I said this about Frank Lampard. I can't judge Ole Gunnar Solskjaer against maybe Mourinho and Van Gaal, who, who, who possibly did average jobs themselves. But this will never change. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will not win a league title or a Champions League trophy as Manchester United manager. He is not at the level of the other managers in terms of Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola or Thomas Tuchel, who've got years of experience behind them in terms of winning big trophies. Klopp's won the Bundesliga, Pep's won Champions League, Thomas Tuchel's been Champions League finals and won things. Ole hasn't got that. So where he's got them right now, he's done a really good job. Right. Do you let me know what you think about this in the comments below? As I said, I know this is an opinion so many of you share. And I've... I maintained it from the very beginning that I always felt Solskjaer was that manager to transition us from where we were three years ago, which, well, let's be honest, we were an abomination of a club on and off the pitch. You know, on the pitch, we might have come second, but we were nowhere near winning the Premier League, which is what we wanted. We might have won the Europa League, but what did that do to us? We might have won the FA Cup and the League Cup, but what did that do to us? What did the FA Cup winning, what did that do to Arsenal and Arteta? Absolutely diddly squat, and he did nothing for United. But what are going to Solskjaer? He's beaten and knocked Tuchel out of the Champions League. He's beaten Mourinho. He's beaten Klopp. He's beaten Guardiola. He has beaten, on individual occasions, the best managers in the world. If you look at those games, and I listed them, he's got a more than impressive CV against the high, the, the, the top level coaches. It's just that I, I can't disagree with Gary. With, sorry, not with Gary. With Jamie Carragher here. It was my it was my gut instinct at the very start that Solskjaer wouldn't have that ability. I it look I, I I came out and I did a video I think it was last year apologising to Solskjaer saying that maybe I was wrong man you know the way that we were going we were top of the league and then as soon as we went top of the league our asses fell out and what we're seeing now is the reason our asses fell out when we went top of the league last year is because when you're top and people are looking and instead of you looking up at someone else and chasing them it's you're at the top and everyone's chasing you and the pressures the expectations they all change they all completely change. Manchester United's asses fell out last year and we were doing that. And this year, so far, our asses have fallen out as well. Let's see what else uh, Carragher had to say as well. Now, but this team is a good team. I don't believe it's a poor team. I think it's a great collection of individuals. But there's a, there's a feeling around that if Oli wins a trophy this season, he should stay in a job. He needs to win a trophy to stay in a job. Manchester United will only win maybe the FA Cup or the Europa League. If we won one of them, for me, that would make no difference. I would have no head, I wouldn't be thinking at all about changing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer right now. But Manchester United at the end of the season, whether Ole Gunnar Solskjaer won a trophy or not, need to have a better manager. That's not a criticism of Ole, but they need a manager that can compete with the other managers in this league. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, unfortunately, and he'll know that himself, and every United fan knows that themselves, is not at the level of the other managers in the Premier League. Right. What do you think about that? What What's your stance on that? The, the bit I definitely agree with uh, Carragher there is that, you know, winning the Europa League, winning the FA Cup, for me personally, I mean, it might be different for you, but it doesn't change anything for me. We've won both of those trophies in our time post-Fergie and it hasn't changed a goddamn thing. It hasn't changed the trajectory of the club massively. Uh, the Europa League didn't give us a sort of huge boost in the following year. The FA Cup, well, Van Howe was sat as soon as we won that. So that was dead before we, we even celebrated the win, really. And the League Cup, that was a double with Ibrahimovic. It was a good season, but it didn't change much. It's whether or not you completely agree with Carragher there. And I know, as I said, at this point, certainly this week, and the emotions right now among United fans are high as fuck. Um, a lot of you feel that, that that Solskjaer just is not good enough at that elite level to compete with the highest level managers and to take Manchester United back up to that top table. As I said, that was my original opinion of Solskjaer. As, as the course of Solskjaer as a manager changed, it was last season where I, I, did a, I did that apology video and I said, maybe I got it wrong, man. Maybe Solskjaer is... Because Solskjaer has been 
given the opportunity to learn on the job when no other manager will ever get that chance again at Manchester United. No one will ever, ever get that chance. Moyes didn't get that chance and no one else will post Solskjaer. He's the one manager that they're, they're trying it with because we tried it with the experience of Van Howe and, and the, the devil in Mourinho and neither of those worked. I, from what I'm seeing this season, with the continued lack of progress, can't disagree with Jamie Carragher here. I cannot. That, that, that I, I, I'm struggling, as I said at this point. I'm, I'm not, I'm not someone who's just like a pure Oli in or a pure. I'm somebody who looks at all the evidence in front of him, and I make my decision based on that. And from what I saw against Leicester, things looked a bit lost at Manchester United. Past it, is it past the point of no return? I think we'll know by Sunday. If, if we, if we see a, a sort of. Um, an apathetic sort of performance against Atalanta in a game which is so crucial for Solskjaer to win, and we see a same sort of performance against Liverpool on Sunday, then for me, I think it probably gets past the point of no return. Because if you're not going to do it there in the week where your manager needs it the most, and I thought that against Leicester, again, both of them... Look, uh, something, something I thought was a bit mad, actually. I've, I didn't mention it until this point. I haven't got the video of it. But Gary Neville was there saying as well, he was talking about some strange things. He was talking about how um, Maguire might not be happy with the dressing... Like, that's a bit of, I'm not putting words in Gary Neville's mouth here. Uh, I'm trying to sort of explain what Gary said. Uh, he was saying that uh, he might be a bit mixed up with the dynamic in the dressing room and not really sure how to go along with Varane alongside him. And he was saying that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer might be happier if you, gave him the, if you gave him the choice of choosing the squad this season or the squad last season, he might choose last season's squad. I think that was a balmy comment. Absolutely mad. Are you kidding me? You've got Varane in this squad. You've got Sancho and Ronaldo. There's no way he's choosing that squad last year. And if he is choosing that squad last year, then Jamie Carragher's right. Then he doesn't have that ambition. Then he doesn't have the ability to manage the best players in the world and win the best titles and leagues and competitions in the world. So Gary there's shooting himself in the foot in a little bit by saying that comment. Both of them were speaking about Cristiano Ronaldo, the lack of pressing inside Manchester United's team. Jadon Sancho, the only player inside the, like, the top 15 in the Premier League in terms of pressing stats and numbers. We all knew that. We all knew that. But what's your reaction to what Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville both had to say on Monday Night Football? I've had my say on it. I'll be interested to know in the comments, as always, what's your opinion on it? Please subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. And if you want to see more of these reaction type videos, just let me know in the comments. Take it easy.